Welcome to this edition of DIY 3D Tech.com. In this episode, I wanted to share with you guys uh, this vice as part of a Shop Talk episode. So I ran across this. I was looking for something like this, and I found this on eBay. Now, the link for this will be down below. Now, what's interesting about this particular vice is these mounting pins on top allow it to mount irregular shape objects. So as you see, I have it attached to the uh, slotted bit of my CNC. And then with these uh, uh, slotted pieces on top, I, for example, have this glass bobble located in there. Now, one of the things I can do is I can pop this out. And then I can also use it for um, a coin art to kind of uh, cinch the coin in here. And because the, um, the, the uh, existing pieces on the uh, plastic here are, are kind of like notched, it kind of finds its own center. There is a little bit of lifting here uh, in the vise, but it's not bad. Um, and again, if I take time, I can get it uh, really level. However, the other piece that I like about this is, is, again, I can put all kinds of irregular shape objects in there, and this will hold it um, in the CNC machine. But also what I can do is I want to take one of these out and then show you. So there, there's actually four four mounting locations on each of these uh, jaws. So again, you can get uh, some pretty interesting irregular objects mounted in there. I think as you can see, there's four pieces here. And then what's also even more interesting for me is I can 3D print uh, different versions of this. This is what I got, I got really excited about actually. Um, because what I do is I plan on developing different versions of this. Uh, you know, like V-shaped ones, you know, and inverse V-shaped ones. Uh, kind of like how I did the uh, self-centering uh, coin jigs. So what I can do is I can uh, design it up and then drop the coin or whatever object in. And then it'll self-center it and just align it with these holes and use these screws to uh, hold it in place. So, again, just about anything I can dream up if I get the screwdriver in here to snug these back up, I, I can basically create... Now the other size, I like the other size. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. The other thing I like about this is the size. So it is rather small. So it's designed to hold smaller objects like this coin or this bobble. Um, because what I am going to do is also build one of these into a water bath. Uh, you know, I think you've seen that I've cut stone and glass and things like that, and that has really worked out well. However, one of the things that I have discovered in using the other vise is its size holds it uh, too far out of the water. So what I'm going to do is 3D print a container for this to go into. And again, because I have this uniqueness here, I can hold, hold all kinds of odd objects like stones, etc. You know, so for example, if I uh, go over here and get this... Uh, you know, heart-shaped stone, again, I can put this in here. Now, one of the things I ha would have to get a little bit smaller washers, I'm using some fender washers right now on here, which is going to limit some of the back travel of this, and it's bumping up against back here. So it can actually go further, you know, this way further quite a bit more. Or else I could just use, uh, uh, you know, look kind of like a hex, not a hex wrench, but, uh, you know, just a socket-type wrench and actually recess it down here, too, and I can actually get the full width. So there are a number of different options. Uh, however, you know, as you can see here, this stone would easily fit inside here. And so this would hold it. And then again, um, because if you try to hold the stone or something and it chucks right here, it, it gets kind of awkward. But again, because the, uh, the uh, angled nature of this, it actually holds it pretty good. So I was pretty excited to find this. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So Again, look for more projects uh, coming with this in the future. And again, if you're interested in I got it off of eBay, I'll put the link down below. So if you want to pick one up, you can. And uh, hey, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Button's coming up over there. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. A lot of new stuff coming out on a regular basis. And if you are a subscriber, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Projects.